Hi. Hi. Shotgun. Hi. <laughs> Preparation for landing, please ensure that your bags are stowed under the front of your seat back and tray table are upright and your seat belt is fastened. Well, hey guys, and welcome to Canada! <laughs> Ooh, parking lot's not such a great shot. Let's try that again. Well, hey guys, and welcome to Canada. Natalie here and welcome back to Hey It's a Good Life. I'm so glad you're here because this weekend week for the next five days I'm in Canada with family and it is absolutely beautiful up here. We are currently on Prince Edward Island and we're doing all of the Anne of Green Gables things. We just ate at this wonderful restaurant and it has the most amazing garden so I wanted to take you guys around for a little tour. But first my family is calling me in for jam tasting so let's go taste test some jams. Check this out. Oh, that is so beautiful. Own China. Wow. Well, hey guys, I'm here with Bruce. He's the owner of Preserve Co. Am I saying that right? Yeah, the Pr Preserve Co. Prince Edward Island Preserve Company. Prince Edward Island Preserve Company. That's where we are today. And I just wanted to make sure it was okay to film. He gave sure. me the okay. And he's actually giving us some really cool information that we didn't know. Like yeah. at this place actually has a greater mission, which you guys know I love. And the greater mission is to be a respite home for the terminally ill. Is that right? Well, uh, maybe a little bit of background. This is an old butter factory. I always wanted to own it, bought it. Uh, 1987. We opened in 1988 and we've grown from four employees to now there's 90 employees. So about 12 years ago my wife and I wanted to give back. So we started a project next door which is called the Gardens of Hope. So it's a 12 acre garden which we built in support of our mission which was to build a respite cottage here in the gardens for families from anywhere in the world who are dealing with life-threatening illnesses or compassion fatigue. So people are welcome to come and stay here. There's no cost, no charge other than getting here. So this will be our sixth year for the cottage, twelfth year for the gardens, and this year I think it's booked pretty well solid for 2023 20, weeks. And it's a lot of U.S., a lot of a lot of Canada, mostly cancer. The last two years have been a lot of women with metastatic breast cancer mm. coming to stay here. So um, that's a little bit about, about us. It's a it's a a quiet mission. Yes, yeah. And we don't really promote it in a big way. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit about us. Wow, I'm so glad we got to meet. Okay, so you guys know I'm a therapist, I work in mental health, and believe me, I have experienced compassion fatigue. I'm a huge gardener as well. That's a Wonderful. lot of what my channel is about. Yeah. So 12 acre gardens as a place to revive the soul. There. That's that's right. And um, it's uh, it's open not only to those who are dealing with terminal illness or life threatening illness, I should say. It's also open to professionals who, like you, may experience compassion fatigue. Yeah. So we've opened the doors to pastors, ministers, preachers, uh, therapists, social workers, nurses. So anybody who's can get a referral professionally that says, yeah, they need a break. Wow. And uh, that's Seriously. that's been our mission for six years, yeah. That's wonderful. Okay, yeah. this brings tears to my eyes. I'm so glad we had a chance to meet. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank then. you. Thanks yes. Okay, that jam was worth every bite and being a little tardy to the garden tour, but let's go see if we can catch up with my family and get out in the gardens. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely stunning. amazing to be here and to see the absolutely stunning grounds but to also know the greater story which is these gardens and this place serves such a higher calling and mission and I just I love that 
I love that. <laughs> Check out this gate. Yeah, he said 12 acres. Yeah. So I keep seeing this log in the river and it looks like a dinosaur cranking its neck. <laughs> Black Ness, girl, that you? Ness, that you, girl? <laughs> There's a birdhouse that's actually being used by birds. I wonder how close he'll let me get. He's peeking out his little head right now. Let's see. Check out all the beautiful stained glass. It's so pretty. I'm seeing some plants that look familiar. I'm like, is that Humphrey? I think it is. I don't know. I'm still learning so much about plants and landscaping, but it's just absolutely beautiful. Everywhere you turn, it's just immaculate. They keep their grounds really lovely. It's looking like we might be running out of time for this particular portion of things here today, but we've all fallen in love with this place and we are determined to come back for some French toast and a round two here at Prince Edward Island Preserve Company. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my sweet friend Krista and we are absolutely loving it here and yeah there's just so many wonderful flowers. Yeah. <laughs> You've fallen in love with the yellow flowers uh, and the yellow bench. Yeah and the bench. Yeah. It's just the same color. So Chris and I are about to live our absolute best life, our good life. <laughs> here goes nothing. Okay. Oh man. So I think that that's it here uh, for us today, but we're definitely going to come back and who knows, maybe even the sun will come out um, by then. Yes, we got to get our French toast fixed and just absorb more of this absolute stunning place. I'm still like so touched. I'm still so touched that I got to connect with him and chat about what his ultimate purpose is. He had a dream, he took steps towards that dream, and he's making it happen and blessing others through the process. I absolutely love that. Welcome to Charlottetown. Krista and I have been talking about our dreams this trip. I cannot wait to share with you guys some of what God has put on her heart for her life mission, her purpose, and her dream. Part of dreaming up what we want for our lives has involved watching Julie, Julie and Julia? Julia and Julie? No, Julie and Julia, the movie. And I just was in tears watching that movie and seeing how putting one step in front of the next dreaming up a vision of something and just taking steps towards that each and every day, staying dedicated to it each and every day uh, led to so much success for her. We actually have to finish the movie still, but Krista just suggested that we see if we can find a used cookbook in the bookstore. So that's what we're gonna go do. But first, we're getting ice cream at Cow's. Okay, Sharon. Thank you so much. <laughs> Actually, when you fix 
I know, and they have Julia and Julia. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm so down. We're such fans. <laughs> I really want to. We have to watch the rest of the I know. I don't care that I have no more room in my suitcase. It needs to happen. Hey, remember when she made the mushroom thing? Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to do it. Paper towel or cloth? <laughs> Look, they have their hearts. Yeah. Like that's in the movie. Really so this is uh, my new friend Charles here. And from he Prince runs, Edward Island. From Prince Edward Island. Who runs the book man. Yeah, the book man. <laughs> Cuckoo could you. Okay, cool. Well, thank you so much for your help. My pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really looking forward you. to this book. Thank you for buying my book. Yes. A book oh, and a bookmark. Oh, Great. Okay. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. Bye. We got our book. Krista, thank you. <laughs> Anne's feelings, that is so precious. <laughs> Mom, this shot's for you. I know you love your old churches. Alright guys, well that's it for us today. We are off to go see Anne and Gilbert the musical. Thanks so much for joining me today. I pray for each and every one of you that you may make the most of it on the way to your dream. Thanks for being with me today and I'll see you guys in the next one.